Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh. Okay, today um, is our last session this year, obviously, because it's holidays. So let's just quickly start with our questions from the last week. So first question, very, very simple. Who can name Guru Gobind Singh Ji's parents? Guru Gobind Singh Ji's parents. Let's have some, Hanji. No, no, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji was grandfather. Hanji. And his mom? Mata Saiko. No. Oh. Hanji? Mata Gujri. So, dad, Guru Teg Bahadur Ji, mother, Mata Gujri Ji. Good. When Guru Gobind Singh Ji was a baby, there was a story I told you about two pots. So, who did Guru Gobind Singh Ji like more, Muslims or Hindus? Oh, cool. That's good. You were listening last week. Hanji, who was he, did he like more? Yeah, and he, he knocked them over, mixed them up. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference what, what, what religion you are. Good. Number three, what is the meaning of word Jathedar? Jathedar. Remember I told you a story about Guru Gobind Singh playing the war games. Hanji, Gurpreet. Not the teacher, no. Jath, Jathedar. Jathedar. Hanji. Like group, um, group leader. Yeah, Jatha is a group and Dar is like a... The, the head of it. Good. Jathedar. How old was Guru Gobind Singh Ji when Guru Teg Bahadur Ji went to Delhi to see Aurangzeb? How old was Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji when they became a guru? Hanji. Nine, nine years old. Very good. Do you remember by any chance which other Guruji was nine years old when they became a guru? Hanji. Not Guru Harkrishan Ji. Guru Harkrishan Ji was five. Anybody remembers? Uh, Hanji. Guru Harai Ji, good, very good, Guru Harai Ji. Okay guys, let's talk about Guru Granth Sahib Ji now. On this picture, which Guruji is that? Which Guruji do you think it is? Hanji. Yes. Hanji, <laughs> Yes. Guru Arjun Dev Ji, very good. Guru Arjun Dev Ji, they, what happened is that when Guru Nanak Dev Ji was around, they used to go around, because you know Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji went all, all, all around India, and they used to carry around with them like a little volume. Can you read the Punjabi word? Hanji. Poti. Poti. Another word, you can say Gurka. Yeah? It's like a small, small book, not a, not a big sarup. Sarup means a, a form, not a big sarup, but little little book collection with Gurbani in it. So Guru Nanak Dev used to carry around the poti with them, and all the bani which would come to him. Because remember, where does Gurbani come from? Where does Gurbani come from, Hanji? Hanji from Vaheguru directly. Okay. So when the Gurbani comes to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they would write it down in the poti, and then Guru Angad Dev Ji, who made Punjabi alphabet Ura Era. He also used to write the poti, and then Guru Amar Das Ji and Guru Ram Das Ji. So by the time when Guru Arjun Dev Ji was around, there was so many potis everywhere in different families. So what Guru Arjun Dev Ji done, he said to all the six, bring the potis to me. And he said, took all the potis, compared the Shabbats, because the Shabbats were the same, compared them and put them together into Ad Granth. It wasn't called Guru Granth Sahib Ji first, it was called Adi Granth. Do you know what Ad means? We had this word many times. Ad, Ad Granth. Hanji. Not half, no. <coughs> Hanji. Say again. No. Yes. Yes, very good. From beginning, the initial, original one. And the Granth means like a volume. We don't say for Guru Granth Sahib Ji a book. Yeah, we don't say it's a book. We say it's a uh, grant, not kitab, but the grant, or some people say beer. It's a word for a, for a big volume. On this picture, people say that this is the poti that used to belong to Guru Nanak Dev Ji and the mala. Do you know what mala is? Yeah, the beads, the meditation beads. They say this belonged to Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So Guru Arjun Dev Ji took all the potis, collected them, and put them into Ad Grant. 
Who could tell me how many Gurus Bani were in the Ard Granth? How many Gurus Bani was in the Ard Granth? Hand you the back. Yeah. Not nine. Ard Granth. Guru Arjun Dev made Ard Granth. Hand you. Five Gurus. Very good. All the first five Gurus Bani is in Ard Granth. There's only one more Guruji whose Bani is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Only one more Guruji. Hand you. Not Guru Gobind Singh Ji. No. Hand you. Guru Teg Bahadur Ji, very good. They say Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Bani is not in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, his Bani is in a separate ground called Dasam Granth. So, on this picture, this is Guru Gobind Singh Ji now compiling Guru Granth Sahib Ji as we have it now. Guru Granth Sahib Ji has 1,430 Angs. Yeah? 1,430. That's how many Angs there is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And we say Ang, Ang means not body, not Shabbat, no, Hanji. Pages. Not pages, no. Actual word, actual meaning of word ang. Hanji, yep. Yeah. Yes, you. Limbs. limbs, very good. What does limb mean? Show me limb. Show me limb. Where's your limbs? This is your limbs, yeah? This is your limbs. Part of the body, little parts of the body. This is one knuckle is a limb. Yeah? One knuckle is a limb. So we say Guru, Guru Granth Sahib Ji is like a guru, is like a body of the guru. So we don't say pages because pages that means that Guru Granth Sahib Ji is a book. We say ang, each, each page, each ang is, yeah, is a limb. Okay, do you know where is this first, the first place is the, the tall picture, where is this? Hanji. In the Amritsar, yeah, in the Golden Temple, Darbar Sahib, that's on the first floor. Can you see how big the beer, sorry, the beer, the Guru Granth Sahib Ji's beer is? Because they never used to have them printed. Now we have all the books are printed. Even Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they print now on the press. But this used to be written by, by hand. It's all written by hand. And how they used to write it, if you look at the, at the pages on the side, there's no gaps between the words. It's called Larivar, Manmohan knows, yeah? Larivar. It's very hard to read because you don't know where one word ends when another word starts. You have to know the part, you have to know the Bani to be able to read Larivar Sarup. It's very hard to read. And see, they used to have beautiful decorations on the side, even sometimes pictures of the Gurus as well. But you know what? It's actually really hard for me to talk about Guru Granth Sahib Ji because I have so much to say and I really love to talk about Guru Granth Sahib Ji. We only have a few minutes left. so. Um, what happened today actually, when we, when we come to Gurdwara, can you tell me what is the most important thing? What is the most important thing in the Gurdwara? Hanji. Okay, do do matatek. Why? Why do we do matatek to Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Hanji. Yes. Yeah. Glasses jumper, come on. No? You don't know? Hanji. God forgives us. <laughs> Not exactly, Hanji. Yes. Yes, you. Because Guru Granth Sahib Ji is the Guru. What else, Hanji? You show your respect. What else you show, Hanji? Okay, you do. You do your das. You do your prayer. When we come to Gurdwara, Hanji. Show respect, yes, what else? To get his blessings. Get blessings, Hanji. That's a good one, to clear, pure yourself, purify yourself. One more, Hanji. Um, to think about God. Okay, Hanji, good preach, one last one. He's like a king. Okay, guys, all the things you're saying are very good. Do you know that Guru Nanak Dev Ji is here now? Yes. yes. Where is Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Okay, inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji. What? Inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji we have the Shabbats. Yeah, the Shabbats which Guru Nanak Dev Ji and all the Gurus used to say. But where do they get the Shabbats from? Where would they get the Shabbats from? Oh, from Vahe Guru. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji gave us the Shabbats which comes straight from Vahe Guru. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji was part of it. So. All the Gurus, all the ten Gurus, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, they all are here. If we feel it inside their heart, it becomes true. If you just come to Gurdwara, Matatek, sit down, la 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 la, 
go away, that doesn't work. That doesn't work like this. You have to feel it inside your heart. You have to have this connection. Do you remember the story I told you when Guru Angad Devji was going to meet Guru Nanak Devji and that he really wanted to meet him. And the only thing that he knew is that he wanted to meet him and that love pulled them together. Do you remember this story? Yeah? And Guru Nanak Devji came out and met Guru Angad Devji halfway through. Same thing with you guys. Same thing with all of us. When we come to Guru, if we don't have this feeling that we want to meet the Guru, we really want to feel the Guru, nothing's going to happen to us. But if we feel this desire, we really want to meet the Guru, you take one step towards the Guru, a Guru takes a thousand steps towards you, straight away, just like that. I'm from Russia. Do you think there's many Sikhs in Russia? No. But I heard about Guruji and I wanted to go that way. And look at me now. I'm a Sikh, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Just, it just happened. It's Guruji's blessings. So when we come to Gurdwara, the most important thing is Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And you know, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji was about to leave the earth and the Sikhs got really sad, they said, Guruji, but what? If we want to talk to you, what if we want to get your advice? What do you think Guruji told them? What do you think Guruji told them, Hanji? Read the Guru Granth, Read the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Listen to the Gurbani. I am inside the Gurbani. If you want to hear my advice, do you know how Sikhs, if, as, how Sikhs should get the advice from Guru Granth Sahib Ji? You make dig. Do you know what dig is? Yeah, prashad. Yeah, you make the prashad, make dig. Bring it to Gurdwara, you do Ardas to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. You don't do it Ardas just like, oh, standing around, waiting for it to finish. You really do it from your heart. You do Ardas and you ask for your question with your Ardas or within your heart. And then you take the Hukum Nama. You take the, you open the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, yeah, pull the, pull the um, Rumal open, and then you t open Guru Granth Sahib Ji at the random place. You open it in the random place, and normally the Shabbat, which is at the top, you read that Shabbat. And this Shabbat is the message from the Gurus to you. Whoever you want to think, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, from Guru Arjun Dev Ji, from Guru Gobind Singh Ji, it's from Guruji, is the message for you. So today, do you know what Guru Guruji said? The Hukum Nama which, which Miss was reading, let me tell you what the message was. <coughs> and every time is different, or sometimes it's the same, but you have to understand. Basically, the message today was about the same thing we're talking about. It said, Har Har Nam Simar Ratnagar. Har Har Nam Simar. What's Simar? Simar? Simran? What is Simran? Hanji Manmohan. Yeah. Har Har Nam. Har Har is Vaheguru. Vaheguru's name. Meditate. That's how you're going to cross to the other end of the life. Because you know we're all going to pass away. Everybody knows this? Yeah. We're not, nobody lives forever. When we pass away, and Guruji, then we're going to go, our soul, our body is going to stay here. Our soul is going to Taram Raj. And Taram Raj is going to look at your soul and see what is the good actions or bad actions. What do you think the good actions are, Hanji? A good actions are if you like help people and keep doing Simran. Okay, Simran, Seva, yeah, what else? Um, you do right in part. Part, yes. You're praying, your good actions, not only just Part and similar, you have to also act good. And then the bad actions, they're going to weigh. The only things that are going to help you is the Simran. But it's not Simran when you sit down and say, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, and you look around. It's not like that. You really need to concentrate. Let's just do this for a few moments. What we're going to do, I want everybody to sit straight, please. You can put your hands on your knees, or you can put them like this in your lap, whatever you like to do. But just try to do Simran and think of Guru Nanak Dev Ji in your heart. Think that Guru Nanak Dev Ji is sitting here with us. Just think for a second. Just try to connect. Try to connect. Just, just feel it. And we're going to do Vahe Guru, and then we're going to say Tan Guru Nanak, and then we're going to do Tan Guru Granth Sahib Ji.
Simran and you really really connect all the people feel different things some people can feel like a light coming out from inside of them because when I asked you when what where, where, where Guru Nanak Dev Ji is some of you said it's inside he's inside it is true why Guru is inside us we just need to find him we just need to connect don't need to go far away don't need to go to this place or that place it's inside us all we need to do is connect yeah, and you connect through doing Simran and part. Okay? So, guys, all the stories that I was telling you here today is just a little, 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 little snippets. If you want to hear more or learn more, on the Basics of Sikhi YouTube channel, there's a, play, uh, there's a few playlists. One is called 12 Weeks, 12 Gurus. The stories which I was telling you here, they're just 10 minute snippets from those stories. There's about hour for each guru and those stories are so beautiful you really love it because you I think guys you're really interested you're listening very attentively yeah? so if you have time during the holidays you can listen to those stories basics of Sikhi on YouTube and then you go to the playlist called 12 weeks 12 gurus and there's a long stories there's also long lectures about history if you are interested those lectures which were those little talks we're doing here they are on the mighty Khalsa playlist yeah for the kids so you can find them there, they'll be there in the end of the, by the summer. Okay guys, thank you all for listening. Let's sit up straight and say Fateh. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.